Okay, something that's talked about quite a bit and maybe not as well documented is what's going on with this mod inside the case. Um, I will, uh, I'm gonna clean this up and not belabor it and show you guys how I'll clean up the gasket surface and you know, make sure you use a good gasket maker. Um, Permatex is like the only brand I use when I build engines or anything like that and that Moto Seal's great stuff. It's expensive, but Amazon, you know, you can usually find a pretty good deal on it. A couple bucks here and there, but anyway, um, something that may not be as well documented is this sensor right here. Um, this is the guy that is your pickup for this sprocket here. And this gear sits here and spins around. And as you can see, if I were to keep it where it goes, it hits this sensor as is now. But spacing is very critical so that that, uh, that pulse is sent to the EC. I don't know if it's ECU or ECM in this application, but so it's sent to the computer in the correct manner. Um, you know, your speedo, I don't, I think I read that your speedo's never right, it's always going to read off, but the goal here is just to trick the ECM so that your, uh, your rig shifts the way it's supposed to. And the guys on the forum have, if you look, they have the right, the right wire share for the application. And there wasn't really a lot of um, discussion around that. Well, photography around that, and I and I can't blame them. The guys that are savvy on it, you know, have all already done the mod. It holds better than I thought. That little cheapy piece of plastic was going to... Anyway, the guys that have all done the mod already, you know, there's no way for them to get in and show you this without crawling under the machine. It's a pain in the nards. So I wanted to show you that while I had it apart. Hopefully you can see that. That washer being the right thickness is, is detrimental to this mod. And you can see it's almost flush with the case, but not quite. And this is what kills me about this mod. It's so well documented and they did such a good job with it like I don't know who yeah these guys just blew, blows me away that they had the time to play with this the way they did and it does it, it clears beautiful and this again this washers that washer is important uh, and of course that's not scientific whatsoever but it, looking at it, it makes more sense, you know? One other thing, circled in red, you'll see the gear indicator sensor. Now, mine kind of spun around on me as I was working on it, but uh, I was lucky enough to make sure the machine was in neutral before I cracked the case. Make sure you do the same. That way you can spin the sensor so that the long side of that push pin is pointed down towards neutral. It'll slide right back into place and everything will be good to go. Now that uh, we have the washer inside the sensor and it's, and it's clearanced, um, you need this guy right here from 12 o'clock. Wow, 12 o'clock laps. I think that's the second time I've done that. Anyway, it's a real small chip with like little to no output, but it's got an LED uh, that this allows you to correct your speedometer. And they're big in in. Uh, the motorcycle scene, you know, to get your speedo closer to actual real readings. But anyway, it's, it kind of goes like all the power power commander connections. Um, you just hook this in line to your uh, to your pulse sensor off of that gear, and uh, this one will go to the factory harness. Zip tie it up out of the way, program it for, boy, I got a look on the forum, I think it's neg 33% if you're uh, 16 and older, 17 and newer, 
it's something different, like 23%. Don't quote me on that. Go look on the forum. I know what I got to do because my machine's a 16. Um, but the, the guys who have or are lucky enough to have a 17 and newer with that automatic mode um, on the geared differently so it's programmed. You know what? I'm just going to leave it. So it's programmed differently to begin with. So you don't need quite as much of a correction as uh, those guys with the old machine. Uh, so yeah, that's that, that is the Speedo DRD from 12 o'clock labs. So yeah, that's that's the big piece. I'm not going to make you guys sit and watch me put a, a beta moto maker on it, moto seal on it. But that's the next be next step. And then I'm going to, uh, to chamfer this gear. Um, just notch the gear with your angle grinder on the side that goes towards the motor so that it doesn't rub on the case. You're more than welcome to try hitting the inside of your uh, case um, opposite of this here with your grind with your Dremel or something and, and to try to clearance the case instead of the gear but I'd rather for the $25 that this gear costs I'd rather take the chance clearance the gear to fit the case and leave the case alone so I'm gonna do that um, put a gasket on this and slap it back together it's a little something I made here try and keep this uh this gear nice and clean when we chamfer it that first washer fits in there pretty perfect fender washer up there i'm gonna take uh another fender washer like that another fender washer on top and tighten the every woven crap out of it, hopefully, here. The reason being, I don't have a a bench grinder yet so when I go to chamfer this edge I want to be able to spin it in my drill uh, that way I can use my angle grinder all right let's see what we got here huh have the primary drive gear chamfered to your liking um, go ahead and grab the cover for the case and that gear kind of slide everything together and test fit it I made the mistake of gooping the case and going right to town and and I didn't take enough material off first go around so yeah save yourself that headache test fit pull it back apart goop your cases and let them sit for a minute then go back to the machine and put it all back together exactly the same way you took apart and torque spec Yay!